All right, friends, welcome back to another video on building multipurpose Laravel 9 and Vue 3 application. And in this video, we'll be working on a new user section. So, first of all, let me show you the final version of what we'll be building throughout this video. So, here we have this button for adding new user. And once we click over here, this model is being displayed. And we have this form for name, email, and password. And if we fill out this form and click on save, and the data got stored in our database and it is being displayed over here so if we go to PSP my admin and refresh it this then here the data is stored in our database as well so in this video we'll be building this exact thing so let's get started okay first of all let's start by adding the button over here so let me go to list users.view file and before this card section we'll be having the button and I already have the HTML for this so I have stored inside a public stops and model.html and let me copy this part and paste it over here let's indent it and if I go to the browser we have this button let's add some margin button so let me do margin button of 2 and we have this gap now if we click on this add new user section we need to show that model so I have the model code inside of that same file and let me copy everything from here and let me go to list users and at the end let me put that code and when I click on this one it is not working so let's fix this ID first let me change this to create user model and let me do the same over here create user model refresh it click over here now this model is being displayed perfect and now after filling this form uh, when someone click on this save button we need to save those information in our database right so let's do that part and for that part we need to listen for the click event on this button for the save one on click We'll be calling the method called create user okay and we haven't created that method so let me create that method over here const create user equals and we'll be performing the post request so xus dot post to the api slash users and we'll be passing the form data and we haven't created this form variable so let's create that first as well const form equals this object with name email and password and with view 3 to make this object as reactive we need to wrap this inside of reactive function so let me do that reactive and let's wrap this object and we have imported this from the view okay now let's use bmodel in our inputs so let me go to the model form and over here let's use bmodel equals form dot name let's do the same for email and the password p model equals form dot email and v model equals form dot password now if i save this let me go to the browser let me open up the console and let me click on view tab over here and if i click on add new user we have this form and it is being displayed here as well so if I write something here we have to wait data binding right which is great and if we fill out this form uh, this part is filled out as well and now we can simply perform the first request so if I click over here and let me go to the network tab and it is currently saying 405 as it is saying that the method is not allowed and as we have not defined the route for that so let's create the route route post api slash users and user controller class and the method is store method let me go to user controller user controller and let's define that method 
public function store and user equals user create and inside this array let's pass name and we'll be getting that name from request name similarly email request email and password and for password we need to decrypt the password so decrypt and we'll be receiving the password from request password okay and finally we'll be returning that user and instead of returning from here we can simply return from here and we can remove this okay now let me add new user fill out this form click on save then it is saying that the user is created we are receiving the response as well but this model is not hiding so let's work on this part as well and if I close that and click on add new user we have this old information as well so we need to clear this as well so let's work on that part let me go to list users view file and after sending the post request we're getting the response response and after getting the response we need to clear the form input so for that we can do form dot name equals empty string form dot email equals empty string form dot password equals empty string and finally we need to hide that model and to hide the model let's get that model called create user model and call the method called model with the hide as a value and now let me save this refresh this page click on add new user click on save and this is still not working so let me open up the console and it is saying the dollar is not defined so let's install jquery for this to fix so npm install jquery and this got installed and let me go to bootstrap.js file and over here let's import jquery from jquery and let's make this available throughout the window object so we can do window dot dollar equals window dot jquery equals jquery okay and if i go to app.js we have imported here from the plugin so i can remove this one now let's refresh this page and try one more time fill out this form and click on save and the model is hidden now which is perfect and our data is also stored in our database but finally we have one issue so let me show you that if i click on add new user fill out this form we can check this name right and if i click on save we still have this eight users right and this user got stored in our database over here we have nine users but it is not being displayed here right so let's fix this and to fix this let me go to list users and after getting the response we can push our data to this users okay so for that we can do users dot value dot push response dot data now let me try one more time a new user this name we have currently nine users save this and we have 10 users but here it is being pushed as a last item in our array so instead of using push we need to use on shift so it will get stored as a first item so let me refresh this add new user this name with save now we have this user on the top which is perfect and if i refresh this page it is still on the top and we are getting those information from the database so this was for this video i hope you learned something from this video so don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel as i will be uploading the videos like this so till then have a great time and i will see you on the next one